I've been trying to get like my week organized for next week. You know, trying to stay ahead of time. Trying to be prepared. You know. <laughs> oh, thank you, boo. Jo Jawadra, what's up, love? <laughs> yes, you guys. Yes, trying to stay prepared. Trying to work on my time management. Trying to get things organized. You know, get the kids' clothes out for next week. All that good stuff, you know. So I can free up my time a little bit. Okay. What's up, Buttercup? How you doing? So, y'all, if y'all don't mind, throughout the reading, if you don't mind tapping the screen, I truly would appreciate it. TikTok does not send notifications to everyone. And I'll be having some people mad at me because they said that they didn't see my notification. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead and jump into these messages and see what spirit is wanting for you guys to know. All right, this reading will not resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? The energy can be flipped, switched, reversed. It could be you, a friend, a family member, somebody you're dealing with, somebody you have dealt with. If it's not your story, don't make it fit. This could happen. This could be anywhere on your timeline, okay? It depends on where you are at, okay? But y'all, let's go ahead and jump into these messages and see what Spirit wants y'all to know. Um, so y'all know we got the 1212 portal coming up, right? Um, I was thinking about doing like a mass meditation. Um, not going live or nothing like that, but you know, on 1212 at 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. I just I would like for the collective to go into meditation for 12 minutes, okay. Try to envision or picture the life that you want. Picture yourself already there. Um, picture the feeling that you feel. Um, this is a good time to actually call in what it is that you truly want. But you know, you guys, you got to put action behind it, okay? You can't just, you know, send that energy out into the universe and you ain't doing nothing to manifest it, okay? But, um, yeah, I was told to tell you guys that something about meditation on 12 12 at 12 a.m 12 p.m um i'm picking up massive changes massive um i'm hearing soul alignment soul alignment a lot of you guys you are following your true north i'm hearing your true north you're following your north node i just heard the north remembers um, more of game of uh, more of Game of Thrones. <laughs> the North remembers. So when you follow your North Node, that's actually the person that you are meant to be. It could be challenging to do it, but you will receive massive growth in your life. Okay, but let's go ahead and get in this reading. <laughs> spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. What do the collective need to know? What's the energy spirit that's coming in? <clears throat> Okay, y'all, we got we got courtship number four coming out. We also got privileged lady. Okay. Um, give me one more card, spirit. We also got message of concern. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we got community. So I just heard everybody want to know your name. I'm hearing cheers. <laughs> Is that cheers? Everybody want to know your name? <laughs> so, um, and you could be a, a man or a woman, take it how it resonates, but I'm getting the energy that there is a lot of people who want to get to know you, or there's a lot of people who is wanting to date you. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. But some of y'all, you about to have a lot of suitors, okay, that's about to come into your life. For some of you guys, you're going to have people DMing you, or I'm picking up like, asking for your number they want to know um more about you so some of you guys you are going to be going out on a date but i'm picking up it's like oh y'all this is a lot i'm picking up like a lot of people coming towards you all right and this could be in your community um or this could also be a part of like your organization or like we are in the spiritual community but um somebody is very very attracted to you but I'm picking up like there's multiple people that's about to come in. 
And I feel like it's because you guys, you have changed. You're glowing. You're definitely different from the rest. I'm also picking up, y'all, that this month is like a glow up month for you. Something about a glow up in December. Um, there's a lot about you that has changed. For some of you guys, this could be regarding your communication. Um, I don't know why I'm getting the energy that for some for some of you, you could have been like hiding yourself or I'm, I'm getting the energy of like working on yourself, but a lot about you done change and people in your community is definitely taking note of you. For some of you guys, this is not only romantic partners, but I'm getting like your soul tribe coming in. All right. Um, but with this message of concern coming out, for some of you guys, you can get some disturbing news. Okay. Or you might end up getting some type of message from somebody you really don't care to hear from. Let's see, y'all. Spirit, show me what I need to see for the collective. What's the main thing? What's the main thing? What's going on here? Ooh. Ooh. And y'all, my cars are in the upright, okay? They're in the upright. I only take them in the reverse if they come out in the reverse. You guys. Okay, so we got the magician coming in in the reverse. Gemini Virgo energy. We got Pisces in the reverse. Um, the high priestess, I mean, and we got the eight of pentacles here. So I'm kind of getting the energy that somebody is wanting to come in and like trick for some of you, you could be a high priestess or you're very, very intuitive. You know what the hell you're talking about. You're able to read people's minds <laughs> i'm hearing minds you could you could be um telepathic i'm hearing but there's somebody who is trying to come up with a plan to like trick you or like deceive you all right um i'm getting manipulation here somebody could know that you're very intuitive they could know you know everything they line has been doing because i'm getting a liar here um but this person feel like they can trick you or I, don't, I just heard make you forget, make you forget the hell. <laughs> oh, you guys, um, I'm also picking up with this magician in a reverse and how priest is in a reverse. Somebody is wanting to knock you off your throne or it's something about. Somebody could be trying to block your gifts. I just heard trying to block your gifts. This could be your psychic gifts or your spiritual gifts. Um, because right now, you guys, you're definitely, you're in the spotlight or you're glowing. You got a lot of people attention. I just heard you are the star. It's like this person is wanting to dim your light. I feel like somebody could be actively doing something with the Eight of Pentacles coming in in reverse. Um, yeah, we got the King of Pentacles here. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, but somebody is upset that you are getting so much recognition and they are seeing suitors come towards you or they know that... Um, they know somebody new is about to enter into your life. But I'm getting the energy that something didn't work. And now this person is trying to find ways to like block you or throw your intuition off. For some of you guys, this person could come in and try to gaslight you. Okay. We got the Knight of Pentacles here. Spirit, why is the High Priestess in reverse? Oh, spirit, why? Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody is angry. Somebody is angry um, that you guys um, decided to put yourself in your moving on. Um, they are mad because you are going through such a massive um, glow up here. This person see you leveling up. They see you moving to new levels, new heights. Some of you guys, you really are about to move. 
okay because i'm picking up like something in december is changing for some of you guys i'm picking up like you was holding yourself back or you was in your own way you are moving out of your own way um for some of you you was letting anxiety paralyze you or um it was causing you to stay in your head. You really wasn't making moves or you wasn't taking action. I feel like you guys aren't doing it no more. You're not doing it. You are stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, I'm hearing breathe. Some of you are learning breathing techniques, okay? You could be going live or you're putting yourself out in the public eye. I'm, I'm hearing getting more involved. Um this could also be getting involved in your community, okay, like city hall or council. Some of you guys are really about to step into like a leadership role, but everybody isn't happy about this, all right, because you're bringing the truth. You're bringing a lot of clarity, and um, I just heard you are demantling. You're about to demantle some people who have been in high positions for a long time, but they ain't been doing shit, okay? Um, for some of you guys, it's that, um, others of you, this is a relationship. It's like this person wants to keep you stuck or this is somebody who is in a lot of pain. Okay. This person is in a lot of pain, but they're taking their anger out on you. All right. And, and like I said, you guys, it's because you're putting in a lot of work. You're about to get some public recognition because I feel like you are actually doing things that matter or you are changing or rerouting or rewriting certain rules. I'm hearing rules and policies, rules and policies. Some of you are definitely changing your life. You are coming into more of a empowerment position in your life okay you're taking the lead you're taking charge um this is somebody who feel like they can't stop you or but it's like they want to come in and sabotage you that's what i'm hearing so y'all we got the queen of cups in reverse cancer pisces scorpio spirit what in the For some of you guys, now I am picking up on a, a relationship here. There could definitely be like a queen of cups. This is, Whoever this person is, they're very bitter, very, um, I'm hearing angry or cold. I'm also picking up like this person's emotions is all over the place. Whoever this is, they're thinking heavily about a relationship at this time. Now, this could be a relationship that they're currently in. Um, there's a lot on this Queen of Cups mind regarding a relationship. Spirit, give me more. Why is the Queen? Oh, okay. So, for some of you guys, if you are in separation with your person here, somebody that they're dealing with could be very jealous of this person or they could know that this person secretly is wanting to come towards you they're secretly wanting to heal a connection with you this per person is making plans to leave here um i'm getting the energy of wanting to stop this person for some of them, they could be dabbling in like black magic or trying to stop this person from leaving with the Six of Pentacles. It's like they know that someone that's in their life is ready to come towards you. All right. Um, others of you, this is somebody on your job. Somebody is upset that you're performing so well or that you're getting a lot of recognition from your boss or from like a CEO um, you could be getting a raise or getting a higher position than this person. I'm picking up on jealousy. Jealousy. Yeah. We got the Ten of Pentacles in a reverse, y'all. Somebody done got tired of wherever they are. I'm picking up. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress in reverse. Now, there is a masculine or a feminine energy here that is realizing that they are not in their divine union. That's what I'm hearing. They feel like they're dealing with a false twin flame or a false divine counterpart. Whoever this person is, they're going through a massive realization, okay, that they've been given to the wrong person or wrong people. Because I'm picking up this person could have been dealing with more than just this Queen of Cups. This could have been somebody who was dealing with someone on the side as well. It's like this person done realized that they was going on the wrong path. Um, they was not walking their righteous path. Is what I'm hearing. And I'm, I'm kind of getting the energy like whoever this is, they've been going through a lot. Or they've been, they've been going through a lot of failures here. But now they know. I'm hearing they know. Something was illuminated to this person. Something could have been illuminated to this person in their dreams. Okay, for some of them, they could have been dealing with a cancer. And this cancer could have saw that this person came towards you in a dream here. There's been a lot of conflict. Because I'm kind of getting the energy that they know who you are. You could have like a karmic that's watching you and somebody that this person, I mean... This person in a side, I'm getting like a lot of people watching you. People that you don't even know. Okay. What's influencing this, y'all? We got the Eight of Wands. So I am picking up a lot of communication coming in with the Ace of Wands. For some of you guys, you could turn this person down, but they're not going to stop. I'm here. I'm not going to stop. Um, I'm almost picking up like reckless energy, you guys. So be careful. Yeah, this person is adamant about coming back into your life. Um, I just heard I, I just heard you the only one. This person feel like you are the only one. That you are their true divine counterpart here. Um, like I said, something was revealed. We got the five of cups in reverse. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio. All right, we also got Gemini energy, Taurus, and Libra here. Um, this person is wanting to heal this connection with you. And it's because I just heard I chose the wrong one. So, yeah, instead of this person choosing the two cups that were standing behind them, they chose these cups that had fallen over. Nothing was here. So, now this person is wanting to reroute or turn around and come back to you. But I'm picking up, yeah, it's conflict. It's conflict. It's chaos um, surrounding this person. This could be somebody who is leaving a lot a lot of loose ends um, undone. I'm kind of getting the energy of somebody trying to escape here. But they're not ending cycles the way that they should end a cycle. And um, I'm picking up like spirit is making this person go back and i feel like it's because you are being shown that this person isn't ready by you standing your ground you're going to make this person go back this is somebody who's going to have to face or heal from the past all right because it's like they want to just rush back into your life but spirit is saying no okay it's going to be too hard for this person to just come back into your life a lot of you guys know that this person bring a lot of baggages here Oh, y'all, this person is definitely going to try to come in with an apology, but th with this apology, this person is going to be gaslighting, okay? This is somebody who's definitely going to show their ugly side. We got 12, 12 on the clock, y'all. I ain't lying. Look, um, this is somebody who's going to show their ugly side It's what I'm hearing. You're going to be able to tell that this person is not okay. Or this is somebody who have a lot of entities still attached to them. That's what I'm hearing. But a lot of you, you're not, I feel like you're not going to fall for this. This energy been coming in heavy, y'all. I hate to talk about it again, but that's what keep popping up. Whoever this person is, they are going to try their damnness to get back to you okay we got the two of swords coming out um 
So, yeah, you guys. Oh, y'all finna hear this person all in their heads. Oh, because someone new is coming. I've been telling y'all someone new is headed your way. Y'all could definitely know this. We got the two of swords. So, yeah. This person feels like you guys, um, it's like they don't know what to do. But I'm getting the energy of somebody acting too quickly or trying to rush and do something too quickly. A lot of you guys, I feel like you're about to put up some firm boundaries here. Because it's kind of like this person character is getting out of control. This person personality it's like you're going to watch their personality change. They could come in very sweet and kind and loving. But then when they leave, they're going to be talking crazy or trying to start an argument with you. Um, and like I said, y'all, it's because you got someone new that's headed your way. You are the diamond. All right. Some of you guys, you're definitely about to be in a very powerful connection here. Whoever this person spirit is sending into your life, this is somebody who was sent by spirit. Y'all see all of this yellow? This talks about happiness, peace, um, illumination, all right, prosperity, happiness. All of this is coming your way, and it's because you guys, you're choosing to work on you, to self-master yourself, okay? You are taking time out to heal those areas that was very hard to heal in your life. You are also becoming more spiritually abundant. I'm hearing spiritually abundant. Um, this is more, this is more um, valuable than money. I'm hearing more valuable than money. What you know, what you're capable of, your creativity, you're able to manifest anything that you want. And you guys, like I said, you're no longer standing in your way. You are stepping out into the spotlight so that that person, the spirit is trying to send you will come in. All right. You're no longer hiding. You're no longer waiting. You're no longer confused. You know what you want. And you're going to be patient and wait to spirit bring this in. And like I said, for a lot of you guys, this is about to come. All right. Um, a lot of you, you're not going to be expecting this new person. Okay, you can meet this person out or in the public or in the community. This could be the spiritual community. Like I said, this could be you guys um, getting more involved in like city council or the schools, um, dealing with kids' educations. I'm, I'm picking up like an advocate. Some of you guys, you are like an advocate for people or for children. Um, you bring a lot of healing information. You also bring the truth. You're about to attract somebody who have the same values as you. All right. And this person know it. This is somebody who know. But this person is no longer on your vibrational level. Okay. Spirit, what else? Like I said, wish fulfillment. We got spiritual union. What did I say, you guys? For a lot of you, you are going to end up with somebody who you are spiritually tied to. Um, this is somebody who have an abundant mindset like you. Somebody who's able to manifest like you. Like this might not be the richest person in the world, but this person is rich in their heart, in their spirit. This is somebody who can take nothing and make something out of it. This is somebody who's in tune with their heart space. This person have a big heart. This person vibration is very high. And when you put nine and two together, that's 11. So I'm telling you guys, this is a spiritual connection. And this is somebody that the two of you guys are meant to be teachers. Okay, I'm hearing teachers and healers. All right. Um, this is also somebody who is very connected to water or nature. All right. But the two of you guys together is going to make a very powerful couple. All right. You're going to be able to change a lot in this world. I just heard you, you finna eat from the tree of life. The tree of life. That's what I just heard, y'all. A lot of knowledge and wisdom. Something about what you know are the, the codes that's coming into you. The downloads that's coming into you. It's going to put you guys in a very powerful position. Where people are going to, I'm here to honor you or look up to you. You guys. Okay, I love this. 
Spirit, what else? You guys, you doing it. You doing it, baby. Victory and success. Spirit is calling your true soulmate in. You guys, you know you are being patient at this time. Thank you for the roses, Vanessa. You're being patient, but I'm hearing you hear the call. You and this person that you coming into this spiritual union with, with both of you guys hear the call. You are vibing on the same vibration. And this is somebody who's answering. This person is coming in. All right. Yes, y'all. Spirit, what else? Spiritual strength. Look, y'all. The cards are coming out in pairs. We got two green cards here. And then we got two purple cards here. Okay. So spirit is calling in somebody who match your spiritual strength. I'm telling you, whoever this person is, they're going to lighten up your load. This is somebody who's going to add to your life instead of taking away. This is somebody who will pray with you. I just heard pray with you. It's like when you and this person pray together. It comes true or something happens very quickly. That's what I heard. And these cards are purple. So I'm getting like intuition, consciousness. Um, this is going to be a very powerful connection, you guys. And I do feel like the two of you are calling each other in at this time. I'm also hearing that... Um, your ancestors are helping this person find you and vice versa. But I'm hearing lifting the load. The load is about to be lifted off of your life. A lot of bliss, a lot of peaceful energy is going to be coming in towards you. Okay, light. Y'all, all of these are beautiful. We got light here. So, yeah, you guys, look, 919. Some of you guys could be seeing this this number um <clears throat> i seen this number like a week or two ago but um yeah this is somebody who's going to be drawn in by your light you and this pipe you and this person both are light workers i just heard light workers okay um but a lot of healing energy is coming towards you guys i'm also picking up like you guys mirroring your energy you're going to be mirroring your energy to the world. So, like people who don't vibe on your level, I'm getting the energy. You're going to mirror back to those people um, the things that they need to heal or fix within themselves. All right? And you might, e you might not even know you're doing this, but that's the energy that I'm getting. You make people reflect on themselves, okay? They go in deep thought, you know, like, am I really toxic? Am I really doing this? Do I really need to? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have some people in their head, in their thoughts. Definitely whoever this is from the past, you guys, you don't cut off. Now, it might not be a romantic connection. This could be a mother, a brother, a sister, a cousin, um, a co-worker. You about to have somebody in their head that turned their back on you. All right. You could have been going through the worst times of your life. You could have always been there for this person. Uh, when they was going through something. But this is somebody that as soon as things got rough in your life, they walked away or they betrayed you or backstabbed you. I just heard the North remembers. <laughs> I just heard the North remembers. <laughs> um. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting, you guys. You might forgive this person, but you remember you was taught a lesson. You learned from your lesson. Spirit, what else? I told y'all. You and this person, th this is what y'all going to bring in. Spiritual, material and spiritual prosperity. This is headed your way. All right? Both of you guys, you see both of those water fountains? Both of you are going to be able to contribute into this world. Do you hear me? Some of you guys, I'm picking up like, this could be somebody you end up marrying. Okay? Like I said, spirit is going to put you in like a high position. Some of you are moving. You could be moving into a nice house. Um, 
with a balcony on your bedroom. Ooh! <laughs> That's my type of house. All right. Overlook a pond or a lake or this could be a swimming pool. You guys, I feel like you're going to be in this energy here. Something is changing in your life. You're jumping timelines. Okay. This is somebody who's going to make you feel secure, safe. All right, this is somebody who know they roll. Um, I was listening to a guy on TikTok. I always be uh, looking at TikTok videos. But he was talking about, for my women, all right? This is for my women out there. Um, for those of you who feel like you always in your masculine energy. Uh, dude was like, y'all need to stop uh, dating these feminine ass men. All right, for some of you guys, you are about to run into a true masculine like um nothing is wrong with a man operating in their feminine energy but a lot of the men that we've been dating um they had a very unhealthy feminine energy about them um these are the type of people that want you to chase them that want you to put in all the work that want you to pay the bills or you know leave the house and they just want to set back for a lot of you guys, you are learning what type of men you want in your life. I feel like if you're a woman and you always had to operate in your masculine energy, you're about to rest in your feminine energy, babe, because this is somebody who know they roll, all right? And you're going to let them lead, like, all right, baby, whatever you say, okay, all right, I agree, you know? So I'm picking up, like, you being able to breathe i'm hearing breathe all right spirit sending you help boo yeah. <laughs> all right yeah somebody is going to be feeling the loss of you okay and you guys like i said you know you got the awareness you've been getting downloads that your wish fulfillment is coming in and i know some of you guys get tired of hearing us say that um but if you ain't starting to see some type of change in your life, then maybe it's more work that you need to do. Because I'm seeing this come in for the people I'm picking up on. Okay? I'm seeing it coming in. Um, prosperity is about to begin. Yeah, we got one, one again. Yeah, it's coming in. You guys, you, you, you doing what you're supposed to do. Keep doing it. Spirit is about to send you true help. All right? Destiny. It's your destiny. Look, you guys, this victory and success that's coming in, you're following your true north. I keep hearing that. You are calling back all your energy from these energy vampires or past trauma, shit you went through when you was a child or like the way you used to think about certain things. You're calling all of your energy back and you are, dis you are discovering your truth, okay, by healing your heart. You're doing the energetic work. You're aware of your destiny. Some of you guys, you could be seeing 110, but you are aware of your destiny. All right. Some of you guys, you was afraid, okay, to step outside of your comfort zone, but you're not going to let this hold you back no more. Like, if you fuck up, you fuck up, all right? A lot of us, we are our own worst critics. We got to stop beating ourselves up. Of course, you're going to have low vibrational people that's going to try to tear you down, but they couldn't do the shit you do on their on they best day, okay? Yeah, they can't do it. All right, we got sacrifice here. So, like I said, you guys, when you sacrifice everything that was toxic or everything that um, was pulling your energy down or holding you back, you started gaining spiritual strength here. All right. A lot of you guys, you're decluttering. You could be decluttering your house, your car, your yard, your home, your life, um, the way you eat, the way you... Um, Think a lot of things you're removing here and I'm picking up vitality. It's like your vitality is being restored in your life, but also your spiritual strength. Your spiritual strength is being restored. Um, 12 and 9 is 21. I'm getting the world. So there's a cycle that is closing out. We got root chakra. You guys, you're learning to ground yourself as well. Because the energy that you are retaining, I'm hearing your vessel is retaining a high energy. Something about a high energy. 
this is making you stronger but i'm hearing something about you guys grounding yourself or you're you're making a firm foundation for yourself and for your life and i'm also hearing a healthy vessel so that you can carry your light because whatever mission spirit is sending you on this is going to require you to be balanced in every area okay it's going to require you to have a healthy mindset have a healthy living situation and for a lot of you guys i feel like you could have been rushing or trying to hurry up and get something done but you're learning your pace i'm here to learn your pace stop trying to make things happen before it's time um yeah i'm hearing you guys are really getting organized with your life and um you're going at your own speed or at your own pace not rushing it okay yeah you're regaining your energy you guys and look firm foundation this is what you're creating at this time and this is also what you've been calling in you're calling in somebody who has spiritual gifts like you Anytime you see a mountain <clears throat> in tarot, it represents a spiritual battle, okay, or a spiritual lesson. I feel like you guys are mastering a spiritual lesson here. You're mastering something. And I feel like you're going to be able to help or teach others. Yeah, some of you are. Spirit, anything else? For the collective, I'm going to hurry up and wrap it up, y'all. Thank you, Miss Queen. Karmic, the person your ex is dealing with is sending you the evil eye. Y'all, so this is this chicken head. Whoever this person is dealing with is sending you guys the, the evil eye. They do not want to see this person come back towards you. And it's like every time they send you guys this shit, it goes back to them 10 times fold every single time because you have balanced out your life. You took action. So now you're manifesting and you are protected. So it's like every time they trying to send you this shit, they targeting they self. It's making this person want to leave them even more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They didn't know you was leveling up when they thought your life was falling apart. So for some of you guys, you were doing something behind the scenes. You was moving quiet. You weren't telling everybody what you was doing. And for, you could have just came out. And this person was like, damn, what happened? <laughs> like, I thought you was somewhere crying. Like, I thought your life was falling the fuck apart. <laughs> So somebody was not expecting your glow up or for you to level up like this. You got this person stuck on you. Whoever this is, they are obsessing with your energy a lot. Whoever they dealing with, they know. Okay. Um, but spirit is saying clear, cancel, and release. And I feel like you guys are definitely doing this. You're, you're releasing this. You don't want this. This is something you already cleared out. Okay. Um, and like I said, you guys, because you know something bigger is on the way. You could have fell head over heels with this person. But whoever spirit is sending into your life, baby, it's going to make you, this person going to be a distant memory. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because you are this new person. You're about to drink from the same cup. All right. Yeah, I just heard the fountain of you. Some of you guys, you could look young. Okay. We got imitator and mimic, um, imp impersonator. So somebody is want to be like you. <laughs> they want to walk like you, talk like you too. <laughs> they want to mimic you. All right. Um, I'm picking up haters. Okay, this part, whoever they dealing with, they can hate you but love you at the same time. It's like your enemies are becoming your biggest fans, to be honest with you. Can't be you in losing their damn. <laughs> they can't be you and they losing their damn mind. Okay. They could never be you. Not in a million zillion years. Okay. 
you are you are a different being all right you ain't normal you not like everyone else you were sent here to wake people up you and this person that's about to come into your life i see you doing well and happy how can you be so happy without me i told y'all whoever this past person is they mad because you happy without them they do not want to see you with no one else. This is somebody who's very possessive of you or somebody who's very jealous of you. This person could have felt like you was going to be waiting for a while, but you guys, you about to be gone. I'm hearing you are about to be gone. They know. All right. And even if you're not with no one right now, this person is seeing that you're not really worried about they ass or you're more focused on your own life. You're not crying over them. You're not studying them. And this is making them mad. We got to answer the call. So some of you guys, this person going to try to call you. Uh, you're not going to be answering their phone calls. But I'm also hearing that you and this new person, you are answering the call. Spirit is calling you and someone new together. And like I said, for some of you guys, you're going to be marrying this person. This is somebody that you're going to spend longevity with. Somebody you're going to grow old with. All right. Yeah. Mm -mm. So it's like spirit is saying, because you don't want to do what you want to do. I'm going to send somebody in his life or her life that's going to do what they need to do. So, yeah. I just heard dismiss. <laughs> so spirit done dismiss this person. Okay, y'all, we got 666. Spiritual aspects cause you to balance your thoughts and your emotions. Unlock your creative capacity to craft whatever it is you desire. So you guys, I definitely feel like you're doing this. This is what's going to bring your success. All right, this is going to bring you guys success here. By balancing your thoughts and your emotions, not being in your head, not letting your thoughts paralyze you or your emotions cause imbalances in your life. You're learning how to balance, okay, yourself overall. And you're also unlocking your creative gifts. I'm hearing your spiritual gifts. All right, look, first time millionaire, some of you guys, you are. Some of you will be first-time millionaires of your family, okay? This could end up being broadcast, all right? Or some of you guys could be online. I just heard software. Some of you could be um, creating your own software. I just heard uh, making money while you sleep. <laughs> You're about to make money while you sleep. Um, but we got loyalty, trust, and honesty coming out. So I feel like you guys, you are living your life this way. Okay, this is what you are showing to yourself or this is what you're being to yourself. But the world is about to see that you are a loyal person. You're trustworthy and you're honest. This is going to make you guys very attractive. And this is also illuminating your lights. Okay, we got Jesus. I'm picking up Jesus consciousness or Christ consciousness. <clears throat> yeah that's what i'm hearing some of you guys you have tapped into christ consciousness and somebody want to imitate you okay but they ain't made it there they ain't made it there at all they they got a lot of work they need to do they don't realize that you guys you are anointed or you are um you're made for this i just heard you're made for this you are a warrior and you are about to have a lot of victory and success in your life. I just heard you're fighting in God's war. We got Taurus coming out. Some of you guys, you could be a Taurus or you was dealing with a Taurus. Somebody is about to. Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm picking up somebody who could possibly be down low. This car keep coming out. Um, something is going to be broadcast here. All right. Somebody could have got caught in the act. Somebody could have videotaped something here. And I feel like it's going to be broadcast. All right. Oh, let me see a little bit more about this. <clears throat> I'm kind of getting, um, Spirit, why is news in LGBTQ here? 
news and LGBTQ. Okay. Oh, okay. Somebody is going to find out that someone is from the LGBTQ because we got the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. All right. This could be like two women or two men. Four of Swords and the Lovers. Um, yeah, somebody is about to find out the truth about an emperor. Whoever this person is, they have a very unhealthy sex addiction here. It's like they don't only want to be with women. They want to be with men as well. But I feel like they're not letting people know. They could be doing this undercover. All right. But something is about to be broadcast or there's people that know the truth. That's for those of you who know that your person could have been like that, okay? That's not for everybody. That's probably like 2 or 3%, okay? But um, somebody know that this person had a very unhealthy sex addiction here. And I feel like they could have broadcasted this or they put this on social media or this is what's about to come in. We got Gossip, Instigator, and Judas. So, yeah... Somebody that this person trusted is about to spread the news or they, ooh. <laughs> it could be a karmic partner that's trying to get back at this person because they didn't choose them. That's what I just heard. They could have been dealing with somebody from the same sex, you guys. This person is mad because they didn't choose them. They could have recorded, you know them in the act somebody is about to make this public Ooh. spirit is saying don't worry about this <laughs> okay we got two 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 so you guys like i said you're focusing on balancing your life making better life choices for yourself bringing harmony into your life a lot of you guys you're trusting the process at this time and you're releasing somebody who was very greedy selfish or vain this person wanted it all okay i'm picking up somebody who definitely needs to get some type of help and you know you guys i have nothing against the lgbtq but be straight with everybody don't be lying to folks out here okay if if you swing both ways say you swing both ways don't uh give that person the option don't just put yourself in a relationship with somebody and you know that they possibly not gonna want that shit so we got manager here y'all supervisor and corporate some of you guys are about to start your own business. You could be starting um, a business in your home doing hair or nails or eyelashes. Some of you could be making clothes, okay? But I do feel like you are taking your talents and your skills to the next level here. You're learning something new, okay? You're sharpening your skills. But look, family secret, fam I'm telling you, I just heard family secret, all right, these words was flipped. So the family could even know about this, but something is about to be public with this person. Okay? Yeah. You guys, I'm finna hurry up and wrap this up. I'm gonna pull three of these. Here, what else? Communication, y'all. It's carbon coming in a lot. So there's communication that's coming in from a karmic partner. Um, for some of you guys, um, this person is dealing with a karmic. All right, they definitely could be sending you guys the evil eye. Look how evil she look, <laughs> okay? Because this person is ready to walk away. Um, but with the Queen of Wands being here, you guys, I'm hearing you are it. You are the it factor, okay? You are the phoenix rising. You are manifesting at a very, very high rate. Um, this person is feeling propelled to come back towards you and talk to you. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But um, this is somebody who's heavy in their head at this time. 
this person is still suffering from inner childhood woundings for a lot of you guys you know this and with jupiter being here coming it's coming on a karmic partner like i said whatever negative energy somebody been trying to send your way is going back to them 10 times fold i'm hearing it don't even touch you no more all right you are a healer it don't touch you no more it used to bother you guys, but I'm hearing not no more. Look, like I said, some of you guys are about to move. And you are about to meet your true divine counterpart. This is somebody you are connected to spiritually. All right? You and this person could end up moving in together or relocating together, but you are about to find each other. Both of you guys are given a staff. Both of you guys are leaders. Okay? You're about to start a new chapter in your life. And I feel this past person can't come. Okay? Because you guys know the truth. This is somebody who have a very unhealthy sex addiction. Not only was they messing with the opposite sex, but the same sex too. A lot of you guys could know this. Okay? Y'all. Yeah. Let's pour some trinkets, y'all. Divine Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for the collective at this time. Give me truth and clarity. What else do they need to know? Show me what I need to see, Spirit. Some of you guys could definitely be working with clothes, sewing clothes. Um, but I'm hearing creating. Okay, we got a sewing machine here. You could be purchasing a sewing machine. Um, but I'm hearing creating. Spirit is giving you guys the thumbs up. I'm hearing thumbs up. I just heard a job well done. Okay, something you guys are doing. I feel like Spirit is definitely proud of you. I'm hearing you're putting in the work. You're taking action. It's like you're mending your life together. All right, that's what I'm hearing, y'all. We also got a key. So, you guys, I'm picking up. You are unlocking a talent. You're unlocking your gifts, your manifestations. This new person is about to come in, but you got the key. Spirit is giving you access to what it is that you truly want. Your heart's desire. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, for the collective? <laughs> and we got the cats. All right, some of you guys, you could have a cat here, but this cat's got a star in the middle of her head, okay? So I do feel like you guys are very intuitive. She got stars in the back of her head. Um, you are in this empress energy, divine feminine energy at this time. You are attracting, okay? Uh, when you are in your divine feminine energy, you're in the energy of receiving. So you guys, like I said, you could have operated in your masculine energy a lot, but you're learning how to be more in your feminine energy if you are a woman. You are attracting your divine counterpart in. Um, I just heard Sailor Moon. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that cartoon, Sailor Moon. Um, but I'm picking up like your powers are getting stronger or... Yeah, I'm I'm picking up like your gifts. You guys are you're also attracting um your soul family is what I'm hearing. But you are in the energy of receiving at this time. So you guys, I feel like that's what you guys are about to do. Um you don't learn some major lessons. You don't close out major cycles. And I feel like you're just embracing this new energy that's about to come in for you. Okay, you don't have time for people who ain't trying to change or work on themselves or people who still have a lot of work they need to do coming into your life. You ain't got time for setbacks. You are, I'm hearing you're moving at your own beat. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. So, y'all, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed these messages. I'm going to start sweating. It's not got hot in here. <laughs> I just heard it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. <laughs> Thank you, Valencia. Thank you for the roses, boo. Whoever this new person is, y'all, this is somebody who 
it's going to be a steamy connection is what I'm picking up on. But I feel like, you guys, you're not going to start off like this. This is somebody you're going to grow a friendship with first. But um, when the both of you guys realize that that is your person, I'm picking up like things are going to start moving very fast. All right. Thank you, boo. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for all the love, all the roses.